Hey, what up, guys? It's Mike Codename Nismo here, and I'm bringing you the third YouTube, uh, video on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's a Modern Warfare 3 video, as per usual. I uh, apologize for my lack of uploads in the last, I don't know, week or two weeks. Kind of been busy with school, and I've been focusing more on just playing Modern Warfare 3 as opposed to uh, focusing on recording and uploading commentaries and whatnot. So. I apologize for the lag, but here's the third video. And this one is different than the other two. It's not a free-for-all match. This is a um, CTF match. It's a scrim, basically. A 3v3 scrim on uh, Arcade and uh, Capture the Flag being the game type. For those of you who don't know what scrim means, it's basically short for scrimmage. Scrimmage is essentially a game... The game's... It's a game of Capture the Flag, but it's formatted in the that mimics the kind of game battles or MLG kind of game format which is essentially no equipment, no kill streaks, and there's a bit of spawn delay when you die. So I really like this video because it was myself, Trashman, and PC Bar who are three of the five sites to go the squad for EndeavorGaming.com. Go guys, check out EndeavorGaming.com if you're interested in joining a good online community. And we are currently PS3 exclusive. So we did really well in this match. We were communicating really well. We were playing together as a team of three really well. We knew what to do in certain situations. We knew where each other was going to be. We were backing each other up whenever possible. And it led to us actually winning this scrim. So that's why I'm posting this video. <coughs> Today what I basically wanted to talk about though, aside from the gameplay, is uh, my take on Modern Warfare 3 guns and maps so far and what maps I can see being in the MLG lineup or the variant lineup. So for those of you who don't know what an MLG variant is, it's basically, again, it's a game, it's a pretty much a format to the competitive playstyle. MLG variant, instead of playing all 16 maps that come with Modern Warfare 3, MLG will distinguish about five or six maps that are playable for a competitive um, game type. So the map list for MLG variant will be shortened to about five maps. And what I'm going to basically talk about is what five maps, or four, five, six maps, I can see cracking that line. Uh, but I'll get into guns first, and really forgive me guys for this choke right here. I wasn't expecting him to pull the flag and just stay there. He surprised me, but still doesn't make up for the fact that <laughs> I totally whiffed on my aiming there, but oh well. We still win at the end of the day. I think personally, uh, I had a better second half than our first half in this game, but you can, you can be the judge of that, because it's just me you're watching. So, <laughs> as far as guns are concerned, I am strictly a assault rifle, submachine gun kind of guy. I don't like to experiment too much with guns, and maybe it's a fault of my own, but it's just the way I am. So assault as for assault rifles, still an ACR guy, no, no doubt. I was an ACR guy in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and will be an ACR guy in Modern Warfare 3. Other assault rifles we'll take mention for are the, obviously the Type 95, everybody's raving about that gun. I do well with it sometimes, what happens is that the moment I lose a short uh, range or a close range gun battle with the Type 95, I'll immediately switch to a submachine gun with the ACR, just because I don't want to lose those close range gun battles, it's really frustrating when you do. And the ACR is just one mobile gun for um, short to medium to long range. So. Those are basically that, those two, the ACR, the 95, and the G36 should also be mentioned. A lot of, it is a really good gun. I personally don't use it that often, but I do use it every now and then, and I know a lot of people who stick to it, so. It shoots really fast, the damage isn't as high as the ACR, but it shoots faster than the ACR, so it's kind of balanced that way. It's a pretty good gun. Oh, well, it definitely should be recognized or be mentioned at least. As far as sh uh, submachine guns are concerned, I um, first stuck with my UMP that I knew from Modern Warfare 2, new and loved. I then decided to kind of branch off, maybe try the P90, which I was familiar with from Modern Warfare 2 as well, but didn't use as much, and I really fell in love with it. I really do like the P90 in this game. I really can't explain what's different 
about it in comparison to Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> but I can rest assured it is somewhat different. It's, it feels the same, but it just I'm, I'm doing better with it. I think it might not be actually the gun itself, but I think it could be the way the maps are designed in Modern Warfare 3. So I'll just take a, a second to back up from this and point out the fact that we were up to nothing and the half ended at a tie. Essentially, this guy, this random guy came into our game against us. His name was Stainzilla, and he had two caps in like 30 seconds. So for a second we were wondering, we are like, wait, is it possible that he's like the Stainville that we know from Envious on the pro circuit? So we were thinking that for a bit, and then we asked him after, and it wasn't. He's just a really big fan, and he was lucky enough to be able to snag that PSN ID. And I think TC Mether made the recommendation that he should maybe sell it to Stainville for you know some money because it uh, matches up with his uh, gamer tag already pretty well. So he can make some money off that. But I think he's a big enough fan that he'd want to keep it. So for those of you who might be thinking that Stainzilla was the Stainville, no, it wasn't. Just uh, just a fan boy. He's a good guy. He's actually still on my friends list, and we scrim against him every now and then. So he's a good guy. See, I'm still making some mistakes here. I still gotta learn. I flashed my own teammate who turned out to have a flag. Sorry, trash man. I followed up with it after and got this cut off. And I think he gets the cap. Oh no, he doesn't get the cap here. We get into a really intense gun battle here. And what should have happened is we should ju we just played it too cautious, and we end up getting mated and stunned, and it just didn't happen at the end of the day. So, <coughs> back to his guns are concerned. I was talking about submachine guns. So I was talking about the P90, really do like it, you can see me using it here. But uh, recently I've actually started using the MP7 with the red dot and I really really like it. It's a really strong submachine gun. Highly recommend people using it. I think a lot of people are using it on the competitive scene too. Maybe that, the P90, the UMP. So those are essentially the three I just mentioned are my three favorite submachine guns. And probably the submachine guns I'll stick to. Not a big fan of the PP90. I just look at it as a pea shooter and it kinda the gun looks like a penis and it just shoots way too fast and just doesn't do enough damage for me, so this doesn't do the trick for me. And other than that I haven't like I have tried I've picked up other people's sniper rifles and sniped a bit, but I'm not a big fan of sniping. MSR, which is a new gun, um, it's pretty good. That L1H is good sniper I can see taking from Black Ops. And uh, shotguns suck in this game, everybody knows that by now. Sorry, true. <laughs> and um, what else was I gonna say? What else was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, grenades. They, they suck in this game. I can't even think of how many times I've gotten hit markers with Semtexes that would normally get kills in Modern Warfare 2, but at the same time, I would get mad when I get killed by Semtex in Modern Warfare 2, so. Yeah, I guess a little bit of give and take there. So, as far as maps are concerned, when uh, we're scrimming, we're seeing that the three main maps being played are this map, Arcaden, Lockdown, and Hard Hat. Those are the three kind of first ones that go through the rotation, and I think there are three maps that could potentially make it onto the um, variant map setting. Other maps that should probably be taken note of, I think Bone can make it as a capture the flag match, as a fast and furious capture the flag match. Other maps that could be in it are Bootleg as a capture the flag SMD match. I can see the map Mission being an SMD map, not necessarily a capture the flag map because it's really unbalanced with that big, uh, with one of the flags sitting at the very bottom of the valley. And the other flag is at the very top, so it's a little unbalanced as far as sides that way. Another map that I've been seeing on other YouTube videos being played a lot is Overturn, which is the map that looks like, with the big sinkhole in the middle, it just looks like something came in there and fucked shit up. So, um, I've seen that map being played on SND, not necessarily Capture the Flag, but I think it could potentially be an SND match. But uh, that overturned map, I really dislike it. That sinkhole, it's just so stupid to me, and like things are too like fucked up in, in that map. It's just, 
It's just craziness. Like, I, I know it's supposed to, you know, it's World War Three essentially, and things are totally blown up and destructed, and the world's coming to shit, but, like, I can't play in a map like that where there's just too much shit around, and, yeah, I just don't prefer it. I really like Bootleg, one of the videos I did in one of my free for alls on. I do like Arcaden. I do like Lockdown. I'm not a big fan of Hard Hat, but I think more it's more because I'm just not very good at it yet. I haven't necessarily figured out how to play it. It's a really random map because of the way the map kind of values it. Just there's so many hills in that map. You go up and down and up and down, and if they're at the top of the hill or the, one of the few hills in that map, they obviously have an advantage. So I still gotta work on that. So this is the yeah, end of the capture the flag match. Boy, time went by fast. Um, we played really well once again. Really happy with how we played as a team here. And, you know, we're gonna try to continue this into the future. Let me know if you guys liked it. Um, you know, post a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see next. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Take care. Till next time.